We've got this live view coming from the outside of the International Space Station as it crosses over North Dakota about 262 statute miles over the Earth. We're hoping to have some better views as we come up on Hurricane Dorian in just a few minutes. In the 8 a.m. Eastern Time update from the National Hurricane Center this morning, Dorian was reported a Category 3. Current wind speeds for the hurricane are near 115 miles per hour with higher gusts. There will be fluctuations in the intensity of the storm throughout the morning, but it is expected to weaken slowly through Saturday. However, Dorian is still on track to retain its hurricane status for the next few days. At this time, Dorian is traveling up the eastern seaboard of the U.S. It's moving north-northeast at about 8 miles per hour, according to the National Hurricane Center. It's expected to turn northeast by tonight, and then another northeastward motion at a faster forward speed is expected tomorrow, Friday, September 6th. On its current forecast track, Dorian Center will continue moving closer to the South Carolina coast today, then move near or over the North Carolina coast tonight and into Friday. Looking toward Friday night and Saturday morning, the center of Dorian should move to the southeast of New England and approach Nova Scotia on Sunday. Space Station is currently flying about 261 statute miles over Michigan. You can see Dorian in the view. This hurricane now speeds of wind near 115 miles per hour with even higher gusts, as we mentioned. You're looking at a Category 3 storm. In its 8 a.m. Eastern Time update, the National Hurricane Center reports tropical storm conditions are now affecting parts of the Georgia and South Carolina coasts, and hurricane conditions may affect portions of the South Carolina coast this morning.
Hurricane Dorian clearly visible as the space station is 261 statute miles moving to the east of the Chesapeake Bay. The International Space Station is now off the east coast of the United States where Dorian will be moving up through Saturday. The Hur National Hurricane Center predicts 6 to 12 inches of total rain could be received by the coastal Carolinas with 15 inches possible in isolated areas. Dorian traveling up the eastern seaboard of the United States, moving north, north northeast at about 8 miles an hour. As we mentioned, the predicted path for Dorian uh, is for the center to continue moving closer to the South Carolina coast today, then near or over the North Carolina coast tonight and into Friday. Later tonight and Saturday morning, the center of Dorian should move to the southeast of New England and approach Nova Scotia on Sunday. And these views from those high definition cameras outside of the International Space Station, the cameras being controlled by flight controllers on the ground here in Mission Control Houston at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Dorian clearly visible as the space station is 261 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. The eye still clearly visible on Dorian, a Category 3 storm strengthening a bit, rising from the Category 2 status we saw yesterday. However, Dorian is expected to weaken slowly through uh, Saturday, still on track to retain hurricane status for the next little bit, though. Dorian starting to fade from view as the space station is 261 statute miles over the Sargasso Sea. And as we mentioned, the space station traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, circling the Earth about every 45 minutes.
We've been providing views of Dorian from the space station as it waxed and waned, and if you missed it, you can catch those videos on our social media pages as well as on images.nasa.gov. The astronauts on board have also been taking photos of Dorian throughout its journey, and you can see those on their social media pages. That's NASA's Christina Cook, Nick Haig, and Andrew Morgan, and they are all on Twitter. Thanks for joining us for these live views of Dorian from the International Space Station, a Category 3 hurricane. You can join us again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Central Time for another flyover of Hurricane Dorian and views from the external cameras on the International Space Station. In the meantime, you can follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for more information about what's going on aboard the space station and another look at Dorian tomorrow. Should you be in the path of Dorian, stay safe and look to local officials for instruction. Thanks for joining us this morning. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston.